Hello there, my friend, and welcome to this Facebook marketing strategy training. I am Angela, and in this video, I will be sharing with you 10 simple tips and tricks that you can use to optimize your Facebook profile page for conversions so that you can start to generate between five to 10 targeted leads every single day on Facebook without having to spend any money on paid ads. Now, in order for you to get the most out of this training, I recommend you watch the training to the end, then you come back to it, pause and play and take action. Because once you actually apply this, these, these, these things, you are, you're golden, you're good to go because you set and forget. And then you can start to, to do the things that I'm going to teach you to do in the next video. Now, did you know that your Facebook profile page, can actually help you grow your business. Now, just to summarize, just to recap on what we talked about in the previous video, I really want you to get this. I want you to think as your Facebook profile page as your online business. Just like if you had a business offline, you'd make sure that your business is attractive. You make sure you have a sign. You make sure that you, you uh, people are, are uh, want to find out what's going on and you make sure that you're greeting them with a smile and you're providing value. Okay. So take this concept online into your Facebook profile page and start to appreciate the power of this amazing platform because there's billions of people on Facebook. So your Facebook profile page can enable you to build your business faster. It can connect you with more people than you know today. It's not about who you know physically anymore. It's about who you can actually connect with. Position yourself as uh, an expert in your niche market. You can do this on your Facebook profile page. You can talk to perfect prospects anywhere in the world. And um, it's very important for you to start with the end in mind. That's why I designed these three part videos the way I did, because yesterday I gave you an, um, an idea of, um, of what the end, I, the end in mind is, the big idea, what is it we're doing and why we're doing it. So um, what you need to, to do is to understand your intentions. Why are you on Facebook? Are you on Facebook to, to, to play around, use it as a toy or you are on Facebook using it as a lead generation tool to help you grow your business? Very important. And then just a quick uh, recap. You need to understand the value of what you have at your fingertips, whatever program you're in, what is the problem that your, your product or service solves? Know that like, you know, the back of your hand know who your target audience is. If you don't go back to the previous video and then recognize where are they, where are they hanging out? And then how can you bring them from where they are, bring them into your shop, say, Hey, come here and see what I have in my shop. Now, in order to do this, you need to make sure that your shop is, is in tip talk. So when you bring them over, they're like, Hmm, they're impressed. They want to know more. So the first thing you need to do is greet them with a smile, be there and be like, Hey, you know, so when you reach out to them, they're going to scroll through your profile page. So you want to make sure that there's a great personal photo of yourself. It's a waste of time for you to put logos of your company, um, the different things, your children, whatever. It, this is your business. Make sure that when people reach it, they know that you are the person behind this page. And uh, I recommend that you use a passport style kind of photo where you're showing your face and you need to smile because nothing is more attractive than a smile. I am uh, offline, online. I'm just an open person and, and people are attracted to me. So I, um, I have that. But if you don't, or even if you do, it's still not going to help if I'm sad on my profile page, I need to smile. So it's very important that you smile. And um, then I will show you how you can then link your profile photo to your capture page because what you want to do is you want to you want to know who your target audience is you want to know where they hang out and you want to bring them onto your profile page just just for a while but from the facebook profile page you want to capture the information and bring them into your world where you can then build a relationship with them, get them to know, like, and trust you and offer them whatever off services that you have to offer. So it's very important that you link 
your you have your your capture page in different places i'll show you exactly how to do that so the first place is on your personal photo make sure you do that and the next thing is to post a great cover photo so your cover photo is like the sign outside your your business letting people know that you're open for business so in 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 getting a cover photo focus on the end benefit that your prospects desire so what do they want make sure that they when they reach your profile page they know that and then have a call to action tell them what it is that you want them to do and link your cover photo to your capture page because you'll be surprised people click on your photo they click on your on your on your profile photo they click on your cover photo you want them to land on your capture page every time they do that and then have a strong bio so the bio goes beneath the, the capture page i'll show you this in real time so your bio should be attention grabbing and resonate with your target audience okay i'll show you how i've been able to do that and then be sure to include keywords that your target audience will be using in their own searches so whatever they're searching for make sure that you turn up and include your target audience and the benefits that your, of your product or service so make sure you implement this okay and then you have to make sure that you complete your profile settings and to do that you click edit profile uh, make sure your profile picture is there, it's linked to your, your capture page, your cover photo is linked to your capture page, you make sure you have your bio, this is more like a summary, and you have an intro about yourself and your hobbies and finally featured. So I think I'm going to actually go to my profile page here and show you how to do this. Let me see what the next slide is actually. Uh, complete about me section okay let's go through this complete about me section so they can get to know about you have an overview uh, work and education places you've lived uh, basic info uh, family and relationships details about you now let me do a, a quick disclaimer I am going to share with you what I'm sharing with you here is stuff that I've learned I've learned from top um, from Max Steingart. He has he's, he's he's he has a course and he teaches called Endless Free Leads. He teaches marketers how to generate leads on Facebook and, and um, LinkedIn. I learned most of the stuff from him, and then I've learned from other people as well. And I'm actually going to give you access to the different places I've learned this. But they're all saying the same thing. But my disclaimer is: whatever I share with you, take what works for you, and then leave what doesn't. So for instance, on this bit here, when I go to show you my profile page, it's not filled out. And when I go there, I'll show you, I'll explain to you my reasons. So my reasons might just be for me, but you might want to fill this out. So you got to, you always got to take things and, and make them your own. You just don't go blindly into whatever somebody's telling you. Okay. So, um, yeah, let's go halfway we'll stay there halfway. We're at five. So let's stop this and then let me go to my Facebook profile page and show you what I've, I've uh, shown you so far. So, so far, when you're on your Facebook profile page, you want to make sure that this is your sign, letting people know you're open for business, letting them know what you, you do. So I am in um, a platform where I didn't have to go out there and design this. The one thing that I like to do is success leaves clues. So I just follow what the successful people are doing. And if I can save time and money, then why not? So you can see here, I'm, I'm letting the people that land on my page that I can show them how to start getting $100 days online. And look here, I have a call to action. I'm telling them to click the link in the bio. But look what happens when somebody clicks this. So I'm pretty sure you know how to do this, but in order for you to, to upload a cover photo, just click edit cover photo, and then that you'll be able to use a cover photo. So I'll have a link here to show you where I got this and you can get access to it if you wanna, if, you, if you're not building a list right now, you wanna start to build your list for 2022, I'll be able to show you. Now look what happens when somebody clicks that banner photo here, um, you click your own one and then go to edit and then paste whatever you, a link here to your capture page. And once you clicked, you, you paste that, click edit and it's there. And as people um, click on the banner, you can see somebody clicked there and they, they commented. So um, you, you're not wasting any real estate, okay? So make sure that you're utilizing this space wisely. The next thing is your profile photo. Uh, just click this here to add your profile photo. And then once you add it, you wanna click on it and then uh, update profile picture. Let me see. 
no wrong one click on it view profile picture okay yeah view profile picture and then you do the same thing you edit and then you paste your your capture page link there and look at how many people have liked and commented because i've had this since i created this account this year okay and once you do that those are steps one and two the next thing is you need to go here to your bio you click edit so you tell them whatever you want to say and put a link because here remember we're saying click the link in the bio now it's very important that whatever link you put here is congruent with the banner i see people have a banner that says something different and when somebody clicks the link in the bio is something completely different so make sure it's the same thing so you will find that on my facebook profile page this capture page is the same one they see when they click this is the same one they click on the banner and it's congruent let me actually go ahead and um uh click it for you so i'm going to cancel this so i'm going to click it so when somebody clicks that yeah that's congruent with this it's, it's the same so that's very important now after you've done that the next thing you want to do is you want to go to edit profile and then here you can actually do it from scratch from here if you haven't you click edit you want to make sure everything here is filled out the way you do that you click edit and you do the thing you click edit you do the thing okay you click edit do the thing click edit here you can customize your intro so when you click edit once you click edit just go ahead and scroll down and fill out everything that you need to fill out make sure you have a link to your capture page here again the same as above and then links to your so other social media platforms as well okay fill everything out hobbies people get to know an idea of what you're about so i have those there so you click edit and add those you once you click edit you just choose whatever hobbies I'm not going to go too much into this you just click edit and do the, do the thing and then here you can see uh this is wasted real estate as well make sure you you use this so i am using it for income proof so every time i have some income proof on the different opportunities i have i just put it there but you can put whatever it is that you want to put in there but uh what i need to impress upon you is you need to change your your, your the way you see your Facebook profile page really think of it as a business and think as a business what you need to put there to be able to get you those those five to ten leads on a daily basis and then uh, once you you you're done you can go to edit about info that was the next part so you need to make sure that you fill these all these out your workplaces your high school your college your hometown and your relationship status now the reason that you are doing this is because you want to connect uh, once you fill this out facebook will show you to those people as your suggested friends okay so if you worked in places you went to high school college your home time town you have people there who you would like to connect you'd like them to find you and connect with you then go ahead and fill those out but for me, my personal uh, thing is that I've, I've worked in a lot of places and I do not want to connect with any one of them because uh, I was just a different kettle of fish, put it that way, okay? They, they will still be working right now and they'll keep working until they retire. So um, I'm not in the business personally of trying to convince anybody. I'm, try I'm in the business of connecting with the right people. So you'll see this okay same as my high school my college my home time town so for me personally it's not going to benefit me to fill these out and to have those people reaching out to me because i only get 5,000 facebook friends i want to make sure they are my target audience so you go in and add whatever you want to add here leave it to your discretion i think that's that's how far we've um we've gone on the presentation let me see uh, about yeah that was that's how far we've gone and then the next thing is let me see how far I should go here uh, da, da, da. okay let's see we'll go we'll go as far as we can so we'll go through the presentation and then we'll go and show you how to do it in, in life so make yourself visible again make sure that you set things up that people who are looking for you can find you or who are interested in what you have to offer so adjust all your profile settings to public again do what's comfortable for you most people are invisible on facebook a profile can only help you 
Build your business if people see the details. So you must adjust your settings so people can see who you are. Because sometimes I connect, people send me friend requests, I look at the profile page, it looks like they haven't posted in ages, but the, po the post might be set to uh, private or friends of friends. So you have to make sure that um, if you want people to, to, to get an idea of what you're about, you set things up for public. And to do that, you go to settings, privacy, and I'll show you how to do that. But we'll just go through a bit more here and I'll make sure I show you how to do that. Allow people to follow you. I only came across this recently and it's so it's so interesting because people are following me. Uh, so on Facebook, your, your default is that it's this people can't follow you. So you have to make sure you go in there and set it so that people can follow you. That way people can choose to send you a friend request or they can just follow you. And I'll actually be able to show you that people are following me. So it's just handy for you to set that up. And uh, even if, they, if you're not friends yet, so you go to settings, privacy again, so we'll be in the same place and then public posts, select public. So we'll do that, we'll do those two. Let's go ahead and do those things because they're, they're kind of in the same category. So we're gonna stop presenting. So the first thing we want to be visible so we go here onto settings and then we go to settings and privacy and then we go to do do privacy checkup okay let's go to settings oh yeah yeah let's go to privacy privacy shortcuts your activity so from here you want to make sure that you edit and you make things public so who can see your future posts or public who can see the people pages and lists you follow so you can set that to public if you want again just use your own discretion who can send me friend requests so anybody can send me friend requests who can see your friend list only me and uh, who can so here you come in here edit and make stuff public so they recommend you make as many things public as you can okay so use your own discretion and the other thing the last thing that we we went through was um let's go to the previous one oh allow people to follow you so from privacy we go to public posts and then we go okay so public posts right here so very simple you need to do this set and forget so who can follow me you just click this and choose public so you want uh, the public to be able to follow you right now um let's go on with the presentation we're almost there let's click the next one people oh yeah remove all reference to your mlm so let's see how far we can go and then we'll be able to share and the reason you need to do this is that the end goal of your profile is to promote you what happens when you change your mlm and then you have to keep changing it so make sure it's your, your facebook profile page is your business and your branding you all right it's not to turn your profile page into an advertisement for your business don't have don't have link after link after link and when somebody um, lands on your page they go like whoa this person's gonna want to sell to me so you have to remember the social networking law number one what people see on your profile is what they expect you want to talk about so if you go on someone's profile and it's crypto 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 oh if I accept this person's friend as a friend they're gonna to talk to me about crypto okay so uh, be aware of that and just just brand you and then develop a posting strategy um, when you frequently post content that your target audience can relate to and appreciate you're opening a door to a conversation with them yeah make sure that you just become aware of what you're posting and why you're posting on your social or on your facebook profile page posts that speak to the needs wants and desires of people receive the most activity uh, and remember jab jab hook so what this is about is about offer uh, so it's like post an engagement post and i'll show you here what engagement post is about uh, you can post quotes questions so posts that are designed to get people to engage and then you post a few of those and then you you post your offer so you need to mix it up and make sure you're not just linking spamming your links use attraction marketing and the way you do that is hello Post educational content on your profile, so something of value that other people can relate to. Do live streams. I am committed to going live for 365 days, just offering value and trainings and um, how to videos. Um, yeah, in infographics. Again, think of your offline business. What do you need to do to get people to come in, to be interested, to become curious? 
And then we talked about engagement posts, the type of engagement posts that you can use are motivational quotes are big, they get the most in, in base, uh, uh, engagement. You can ask questions, people love, love to give advice and uh, express their opinions. You can share industry news. Uh, if social proof of your success is very important because um, and then if you don't have your own success you can share your teams because there's so much information out there so many opportunities if you can show somebody proof that your system not only works but it's working for you then you're helping them get rid of all the noise out there so it's very important for you to share your successes and then expert tips if you have tips that you want to share so that is how you set your Facebook profile page for conversions and you have to remember that likes shares and comments become leads this is this is a fact the leads then become prospects and then prospects become customers uh, remember to interact with people who engage in your content and uh, yeah let's connect I'll have links to my Facebook and my social my uh, YouTube so we can connect I'm a real person you can reach out to me if you have any questions otherwise I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this training to the very end in the next video I will be sharing with you 12 simple things that you can do every single day that are going to bring you closer and closer to getting that five to ten targeted leads who are interested in your opportunity without having to spend money on paid ads now you have to realize that this is um this all in syncs and works together. The one piece won't work without the other. So you need to make sure that before you're doing the things that I'm gonna share with you in the next training, your Facebook profile page, your online business is optimized for conversions. I've been Angela, wishing you the best year ever. Thank you and have a fantastic day.